you can't beat the North American Arms Sidewinder. Shredded ribs. I put some new lung tissue on here. Hey guys, welcome back. Back in February, I did a video on the effectiveness of concealed carry self-defense for a 22. At the bottom side, and I know we hit some ribs. Oh, there's the underside of the ribs, guys. I mean, that's... That's pretty impressive. These ribs. All right, let's see what we got here this time. Of course, we went through the denim. Now, I put some extra layers of meat on here. I put a great big old hunk of muscle. Okay, we've got the ribs. Wow, yeah, that, that shredded the ribs. I put some new lung tissue on here. All right, and then... Now, I did it with the Ruger LCP-2, and I had a dead cow, and I was shooting 22 long rifle through the ribs, into lungs, and it's, you know, I had no idea that it would be my my highest viewed video. It's at about a half a million views now. Anyway, the the large consensus is that that 22 long rifle with that particular round, okay, the CCI segmented hollow point was very viable for self-defense. Now, I'm not going to say, and in, neither did I in that video, that a 22 long rifle or a 22 win mag is the best self-defense. Absolutely no way would I rather have a 22 than a 9 mil 45 Smith and Wesson uh, 40, any of that. But the size, the weight, the concealability of this, and those of us that don't like the weight in shorts, this is a viable option. Now, just recently, I did a follow up video on that using the Sidewinder because CCI was coming out with the 22 mag version of that same round that I used in the first one where I shot the dead cow. So I'm thinking like most of you, you know, the 22 mag, that could be a game changer in this. We're going to get that much more power. And if you watch that video, unfortunately, it did not pan out. Okay. When it comes to these little dinky mini revolvers or anything with a really short barrel, the 22 mag, it doesn't have the ability to burn all the, the gunpowder or something because the speed out energy was actually less with the Magnum than it was with the 22 long rifle, which was a huge disappointment for me, but it had nothing to do with the Sidewinder. This video is about the Sidewinder and using that 22 long rifle fragmenting round with a Sidewinder. I like that. When I did that first one, there was a lot of concern about reliability of 22 long rifle, semi-auto, jams, failure to feed, thus the Sidewinder revolver, okay? We don't have feed issues. And if we do get a light primer strike, we get to go around again and we can hit it again. And usually it goes off on the second round. Now, I did a video a long time ago using just the mini revolver. Bad thing was the cylinder popped all the way out and we had different pieces. Now, in a crisis situation, I don't want pieces. That's what attracted me to the Sidewinder. And then it functioned more like a revolver. And so we should be able to, if need be, reload 
a lot faster. So we eliminated some of the concerns in that original video on self-defense with a 22 as far as reliability of the ammo and then also jams and light primer strikes and then having to clear it. Now when we're looking at the the sidewinder, okay, <laughs> this isn't a distance gun. Guys, I'm not going to stand off like I do in a lot of my videos at 50 yards and bang on the steel and certainly not at 100 yards, okay. This is an up close. Now, in my video for the CCI ammo, the difference between point blank and 10 feet, there's, there's no difference. in feet per second ballistics okay so it, it's perfectly good point blank but it's also really the same at 10 or 15 feet now i'm going to say with me the effective range on this was about 15 feet it you know i could go farther back but that's really the distance that i would want for this at, at the most so just like all my videos, I like to do a quick specs and tech before we get into the shooting so we can see what this is about. Weight, rifling, all that stuff. Let's check this out. Okay, so before I get into accessories, everybody likes the shooting. Let's see how this shoots because if it doesn't shoot good and I can't hit the broadside of the barn, then it really doesn't matter what accessories there are or what holsters there are. Let's see how it shoots. All right, we're just going to try this one-handed with this gun it's almost easier with one hand we're still at 12 feet so shooting a little bit to the right still works okay so now i got the spear gold dot short barrel personal defense i'm going to do both hands here and see, see what kind of groups we can get. Here we go, 10 feet. Hey guys, if you like this video, if you follow Beyond Seclusion, help support Beyond Seclusion, it is really easy. All you gotta do is go to our webpage, use these links anytime you go to these to buy anything. That helps support Beyond Seclusion. The other one is our Amazon page. That's a huge one. I've got my crazy stupid deals there, optics, anything that I can find on Amazon, I put there. And if you go in through this link, anything that you purchase on Amazon helps support Beyond Seclusion. The other one is is my Patriot t-shirts and my swag. These are now available on Tandem Cross. Check them out. All this helps support Beyond Seclusion. The easiest way to use the links in the Amazon is simply save them is bookmarks and anytime you go to Amazon or you go to Cabela's or any of these just click on that link and anything that you get helps support Beyond Seclusion. Guys I couldn't do it without your help. Thank you. Okay so we're at 10 feet. I stuck a spent cartridge in here just to signify we have a light primer strike. Okay, we step back to 15 feet here, make it a little bit more challenging.
little bit more. Okay, let's just see what we can do with two hands. Much better. Back here at 33 feet. I got one bullet left. We're really going to push this here. I don't expect any way of hitting this. Nope. Okay, so that wasn't bad. It's definitely not a distance gun. I can't do with this like I have with a lot of my pistols. If you follow my channel, you know, no go at 50 yards for me. But I do like it for what it is. I mean, this thing is so ridiculously small and light. Let's check out some of the accessories and options that we do have with this. This was the first mini revolver I have. It's got a different... It's got a fold-up handle here. I really do like this, and we can get this for the sidewinder. What I wanted to show you was, though, is the difference in reloading. The one downside to the original that I had was you had to pop out the whole cylinder, and then you had to actually poke these out. And that just wasn't, wasn't very fast. Okay, you got five shots, but I really am not going to... I uh, want to try to reload this in a hurry. Really like the the Sidewinder is the ability to reload a whole lot faster. Just a slight cock back. This pulls out, drops down. They drop all out, and boom. Now, an accessory that I found that's awesome is this RCV. This is the perfect little... Unfortunately, they don't have one for the 22 long rifle, only for the 22 mag. I'm hoping they come out with one. But they stay in there. It doesn't. It, it doesn't look like it. And then we just set this on here like that. And they all pop in. And again, not nothing like dropping a mag, but it is a whole lot faster than putting them in one at a time. And we could do the same with this, but to me, that's still we just we've got a part that we can lose here, and in an adrenaline situation, I don't want to have to have a part to hang on to. One of the things I like about the NAA is there's a ton of accessories out there, holster options. This is a crossbreed, kind of the standard pocket one, and it just fits in there like that. The idea is that these catch on the pocket, and it stays in the pocket, and you just pull it out. Now, one of the things with concealed carry that I don't like is printing. With some of the different firearms, this is really small, but in a, in a loose-fitting pocket, you can still have some printing. This is one of Kevin's Conceal Holsters, okay? And these are really cool. I found these online. And the idea is, it looks just like a wallet. It's almost the exact same size. And a lot of us are accustomed to the feel of a wallet in our pocket. We're not necessarily accustomed to the feel of a pistol. I know that probably sounds kind of strange for some of you but for me I don't I just don't like this flopping around in my pocket so let's do a little experiment with these two okay so for, for me the ultimate I think in challenges for concealed carry is wearing shorts in the summer it's a lot easier in the winter when we got heavy coats on and stuff but just a loose pair of fit and shorts right now I got nothing in there I'm going to put in the wallet or the revolver and see if we can tell the difference. Okay, so I got one in each pocket. Which one is this? The holster. It does weigh a little bit more, so it does kind of pull a little bit. 
But here's the wallet, really about the same. Now some might think that this would be difficult to get out fast. I don't consider that a long time. I don't think that is gonna slow down the ability to get it out. Now as far as using this in the back pocket, we're all used to the feeling of sitting on a wallet like this. I don't know if you can tell which one this is, but this is the holster. Let's see what it looks like with the wallet. Now Kevin's concealment holsters, I really like these. There's a lot of different models that'll fit. This is the Ruger LCP2. I did a review on that. I really like this for a little pocket pistol. He does have these for some of the three A's and stuff. As we get bigger, it's gonna get bigger. It's still somewhat wallet size though. Okay, the nice thing is it's a good fit. As far as printing, this looks either like a large phone, a pocket organizer, or a wallet in your pocket. Okay, so not bad. It's definitely not a distance gun. A lot of people scoff at the 22. Again, I in no, no way, shape, or form am I saying that this is better than a 9mm. But when you look at that test that I did with a cow, and this pointed at you, you know, I don't think a lot of people are going to be going, well, you know, that's just a 22 pointed at me. I'm not too worried about that. Um, it makes a lot of noise for the novice, you know, that doesn't want to mess with a mag fed, semi-auto, light primer strikes, any of that. It's just, you can't beat the North American Arms Sidewinder.